Can you believe that according to the predictions, the tactile sensation industry is projected to grow to $19 billion by 2025? Thus, if you have an application or plan to develop it, it is worth thinking about adding haptic feedback. You are on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Keep watching to know how haptic feedback works and why it makes sense. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. Haptic feedback is a way to communicate with users through sensations in interfaces to convey information to the end user through touch. How does it work? Tactile technology generates computer signals that are perceived through touch. It integrates human and machine parts. In general, there are two types of tactile research modes that can be distinguished, namely passive systems. Systems with passive haptic feedback are those structures that contribute through the tactile properties of mechanical structures, physical objects, and friction, and active systems. The essence of active tactile sensation is that a user deliberately explores the tactile surface. You might think that the function of tactile sensations is solely to enhance the reality of the virtual experience. But that's just one of the reasons companies add tactile sensations to apps. Utilizing haptic feedback increases the performance of anyone using a digital device with this feature. Well, all tactile technologies are trying to achieve the same aim to recreate tactile sensations using various kinds of stimuli. There are five types of haptic technologies. Among them, we define force feedback. It acts on the ligaments and muscles in the musculoskeletal system. Ultrasonic haptic feedback. This transmission principle is called acoustic time reversal. Electrotactile feedback. Electrical signals are at the core of the nervous system. So this type of feedback is well suited for simulating and generating sensations. Thermal feedback. A grid of actuators is used to generate thermal feedback, which is in direct contact with the skin. And vibrotactile feedback. Vibration stimulators apply pressure on touch receptors in the human skin, which can pick up vibrations of up to a thousand hertz. Which of these haptic technology types do you think can recreate the most powerful tactile sensations? Share your thoughts in the comments. Moreover, tactile technologies can be found in teleoperation, where remotely controlled robotic tools enable remote environments to be monitored. Virtual environment, where haptic feedback is a necessary part of any VR interactions. And mobile devices, where haptic technology is used to provide functions, such as vibration feedback of tablets, smartphones, and wearables touchscreens. By the way, we highly recommend you read the article about virtual reality in healthcare we have prepared. The link is in the description. Let's take a look at the types of haptic feedback in your application. Since haptic feedback is a vibrational response that can accompany every scrolling, sliding, or tapping you make in an app, it's essential to understand when it adds value and when it gets annoying. There are two types of haptic feedback that can be applied in an application such as temporary feedback, it is a brief impact that appears and disappears, and continuous feedback, it is more like a sequence of tactile sensations. Finally, let's overview the apps that may include haptic feedback. Among them are applications for notifications, haptic feedback may be used to view information, add reminders, appointments, tasks, and alarms, phone management apps, Haptic feedback may be used for adding and searching for a contact, viewing the last call and last voicemail. Fitness apps. Haptic feedback may be used to view templates, exercise, and share activities. And chats and social apps. Haptic feedback may be used for notifications for new messages, group invitations, profile visits, and more. Haptic feedback and tactile devices are the next stages in the development of digital technologies to provide more natural and intuitive ways to interact with interfaces. So do you think haptic feedback can add considerable value to your existing app? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. 
we share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.